Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Yes. This DJ will kick the floor in three, in three, two, three, two, two, one, ah! one, one, one. one. Hello and welcome to Mzansi. We are back again with the story that has been on the news, I think, for the longest time. This is a story of Senzo Meiwa. This is a story of uh, many stories, I would say. Thank you again for being with us. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking our videos and the interaction we are getting. We are grateful. Please make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe for those who are not subscribers and go to the chat. You will only be able to access the chat if you are a subscriber. Um, that's that's the story for today. For those who do not know me, I go by the name of Mr. Anonymous. And uh, in front of you here, it's Emily. Emily, let us hit the ground and run. Okay, there's a lot to go through today, so I'm going to try and be as fast as I can. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Mzansi Reality YouTube channel. Now, Mtogosi Zitwala came back on the stand in cross-examination by advocate Sipo Ramosipele today. And uh, Ramosipele began by asking, let's start with the scuffle. The way the scuffle starts is the intruder holding the gun at the arch. Longwe Twala gets up and pushes the gunman out of the way, runs through the home and out of the house. We agree that the gunman is short, uh, the short one with dreadlocks. Yes. If you say Longwe pushed him, what do you mean? Can you de demonstrate for us? And then Twala said, I won't be able to explain, well, the way it happened, but Longwe moves from here to there, demonstrating how Longwe Twala pushed the first intruder towards the wall. Now, Ramisipele asked, where does he push him? Against the wall, furniture, or the ground? And Twala said, I would say towards the wall because there is furniture there. So Ramosipele asked what happened to the gunman as he was pushed against the wall. And Twala said, I no longer paid attention to what was happening. That's when Senzo got up and I didn't pay much attention to the intruder. Ramosipele then asked, at this time, where is Longwe? Longwe? At this time, where Longwe pushes the gunman? Where is the second intruder? Then Twala asked, just like I said, that I didn't see the second one. When he entered the house, I noticed the second one after everyone got up, after Longwe got out. So Ramasipele asked, what I am trying to get to is, could it be that the second intruder was in the house and you didn't notice him at the time? Then Twala said, yes, it's possible. So this is where they were trying to establish whether he saw the second intruder or not. Yes. Yeah. Ramos Sipela confirmed to Twala that the taller guy, the one with the sharp object, uh, he said, I put it to you that the story of Longwe Twala pushing the intruder and running out is not true. Mm. Then Twala said, I don't know what to say. If you say it's not true, then it is what it is. Then Ramosipele said, I will demonstrate there were no intruders and Longwe Twala was inside the house during the shooting. Then Longwe Twala was in the house when the shot was fired, but we will take it step by step. Mm -hmm. Then Twala said, I think that would be you making a mistake. Now, this is where I was thrown off guard with the cockiness and the little bit of subtle aggressiveness that was definitely beginning to show up with Mtogo. At the time that Longwe Twala gets up and does this pushing, it was clear now to people in the house that now this was a clear robbery, Ramosipele said. Mm. No joke. No somebody that they know, correct? Mm. At this time, Longwe gets up and goes to the armed intruder. Mm. Everybody in the house is now clear. This is an armed robbery. Then Twala responded by saying to me, I won't speak for other people, whether they saw or didn't see. Mm -hmm. Ramos then asked precisely the point. Mm -hmm. To you exactly. At first you thought that the person was the person known to the deceased or the Kumalo house, Correct. And then Twala said yes to me. Mm -hmm. Then Ramosipele said, in a robbery situation, Longwe stands up suddenly. In fact, to the surprise of anyone in the house, correct? Then Twala said yes to me. It was surprising. Ramosipele then said, and the gunman didn't even say to Longwe on the ground, sit down. Twala said yes. 
He said nothing to him. Then Ramosipele said, Longwetwala pushes the armed intruder out of the way who is in possession of a gun. And the gunman does not restrain Longwetwala from running away from the house. Then Twala said, yes. Ramosipele then said, the same gunman does not even shoot at Longwe, stopping him from leaving the house. Twala said, yes, he did not shoot. Mm. Ramosipele then said, the second intruder who you notice or did not notice mm -hmm. is there but does not even prevent Longwe and this intruder is also armed with a knife or a sharp object. Then Twala said, yes, both the first and the second intruder do not pursue or chase after Longwe as he runs out of the house. Then Twala said, yes, they did not pursue him. Now, Ramosipele put it that my suggestion to you is that this apparent act of bravado mm. from Longwe Twala did not happen. <laughs> Yeah. Then Tala said, I don't know how you want me to explain because I'm telling you that this is what happened. Yeah, so we're not going to be that long, but we'll try to, to, to take a step with you. And I want you to, I want you to, Emily, to pause there. Thank you very much, uh, Mzi Mnyazi. Thank you very much for your contribution. We appreciate it. Um, and thank you f to everyone who's here. So I want you to, to, to go back, Emil. Remember mm -hmm. when I said uh, when Mtogo uh, was introduced as one of the witnesses, I said to you, I think that Mtogo is that person we were waiting for who was going yes. to say... You said it last a, year. ...sing a different story, even this year. Why I said it this year mm -hmm. when the, there was... At the a, beginning... When there was a lawyer, I don't know lawyer of who between the, the defendants, uh, who said I'm retracting uh, the statement that was made that there will be someone who will testify otherwise or say uh, something different from what Dumelo was saying. Oh, was it Advocate Nisi? Who I said think it that was Advocate would, Nisi. And then uh, Mr. Vaselina said, "No, uh, we will have a look at this thing." Sort of, kind of accepted it partially and then reverted back and saying no we'll have a look at this thing uh, because you cannot just retard like that there are many questions that were made out of that and I said to you I think Togo was that person again okay, why I said that and I've been saying to you guys I think Togo might have come into the party very late mm. And, and, and I had a reason for that. Mm -hmm. My reason for that was that everything that you look at now, I know that you might think, some of you might feel that Mtogo is more rehearsed than Doom. But I feel that Mtogo is not more rehearsed than Doom. If okay. there was any rehearsal or anything that, I don't know the, the, the law terms. Mm. This is my thinking. Mm -hmm. Why I say that? Why? I think... If it was proposed first that let us have the story as uh, this bravado intruder story, uh, Mr. Vets has helped us with a new name uh, <laughs> that we will use any anywhere anyhow. Don't don't correct us. <laughs> bravado. Uh, so what, what, what? Why I said that is because everything that could have been changed, it is not fully changed. Mm. There are statements that are sort of contradicting yes. each other. I think we have noticed that. More so on Mtogo than Tumel. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Now, I just had this interview. What is a, what is a, what is a, 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 a what do we call, what is a, stay, what is a, um, broadcast, SABC. Broadcasting, SABC, yes. There was an interview with, uh, 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 Tifo, Advocate Tifo. And he's saying that Togo is that person that was going to say there was no intruder. Which mm. is kind of affirming what I've been thinking and why they're retracting. Because you, some of you might be confused and thinking maybe someone did a, this bad job of, mm. of, of interviewing, of, of, of putting these questions like that. Yes. Only to find that they were just thumb sucking. Mm. Maybe there was someone who said no. I'll, I'll go on and say the truth if there is any truth other than what we are told here. 
And then someone realized that because that's the thing with these laws. Mm. You do not hide the people that say things. You eventually will reveal their name. Yes. My thinking is that someone goes behind after hearing this person will testify otherwise, mm. killing the whole case. Because now that means now case one, one, five, is it one, six, one, one, three, six, the other one. 375. 375. Case 375 then. If Ntogo was to come and say otherwise or sing otherwise, then that case maybe would be resurrected. It will be born. It will, it will be alive, that case. But now mm. that Ntogo is saying otherwise, now that case has no life for me. It's a dream. It, it, it dies. Yeah. It's gone. If if Mtogo was the witness that testified contradictory, who was in the house? Yes, who was in the house? Because he uh, default threw in that that thing before he 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 withdrew himself. Yeah, from, he from kept the on case. he kept on asking questions that were he sort did of make it sounding like a person who was present. Yes. And and we felt that there is someone, and even, even himself, he did say that he did there is going to be someone who's going to come gonna and say that. differently from yes. what you guys are saying, who was in the house. And then from there, I don't think initially Togo was drafted on the state witness state witnesses list. Mm, in your initially. opinion, mm. this is my thinking. Mm. It came out late after T4 came into the party and it started. Pushing and pushing and pushing. And then they said, no, 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 no. This is my thinking. This is obviously, this is not something that I, I have information of. Mm. But I'm thinking. I, I, I can be proven otherwise. Yeah. But I don't think Mtogo was supposed to be uh, following to me. Someone else was supposed to come here. But not Mtogo. Togo just came in. I think he did not just come in. He came from the list that was already drafted and he leapfrogged a lot of, of witnesses that were going to mm. come here to make sure that there is no chance of him testifying otherwise. otherwise. That's my thinking. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I, I'm not saying that. Uh, uh, I'm just saying. I'm just looking at things and, yeah. and, uh, and the events of things. And let's continue, Amy. Well, then he continued, Utwala Tilongwe, you will call him here so that he can come and explain how he passed those people. Mm. But he passed those people. He passed He he passed by a person. Yes. Okay. So Ramasipile then said, I put it further that this apparent act of bravado mm -hmm. is at odds with real life robbery situations, which is true, isn't it? It's very, it was a very silent Robbery, hey? It was. And then, and then Twala said, unfortunately, the fact that you view it that way does not change that it happened because it happened. It happened before my eyes. Mm. Well, Ramos Ipile then said, I'm also going to put it to you further that your mere say so counts for nothing. And I'll tell you why, just as a digression. You said you saw a firearm with intruder number one. Mm. When I asked you about the details of that firearm, you developed amnesia. Then Twala said, I didn't get amnesia. I won't describe something, even if I saw it, but I won't describe something, um, what the thing looked like. So that's not forgetting, because I am telling you that the gun was there. But when you said, I must describe it, I won't describe it. This so is how where... is that forgetting? So this no, is where, a bit this is where uh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a strategy for Mr. Vertz. Mr. Vertz, for those who do not know, Emily, the name is Ramusipi. Ram we call them names here. So this is where I felt like the, uh, Mr. Vertz ran short of the question. He was supposed to say, well, since you're saying that you won't be able to describe it, I wanted to put it on record that you do not want to describe it or you have forgotten or you didn't see it. Mm. So which one is it? Is it that you do not want to describe something that you saw, which is contradicting what when you came here, 
were presented as. Mm. So you were presented as someone who's here to help the state understand step by step of what happened. Mm. Even if it mean describing and giving us colors of the cars and whatnot, which we have done without any 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 worry. Yes. It was not even difficult. You yeah. know, it was not difficult for you to explain those things. So we want to make sure that you do not want to describe it, but you saw what you saw, but you just don't want to describe the gun. I because agree. that running away with the color of a gun, of how the, car, the gun was, it sort of kills that theory of there was someone who came with the gun. Mm. And if that gun is still present and is still outside, after describing it, then maybe we might be able to align the, the description with... That's why I'm saying you might, you guys might look at this thing and say, hey, Togo, look more rehearsed than to No, I don't think so. He's there for the taking. So. He's there for, for the, the taking. Take. And he's voluntarily giving extra information. Yes. It's a small information, but that information can go a long way. Yes. Because if he, if he was to explain that model... Even if he's not explaining the model per se, but to say there was a wheel or uh, maybe the gun was was silver, it, it, we, 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 then we 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 align to what we have. Mm -hmm. The people that are there, there are rumors mm. that it was a gun of someone. It belonged to someone. And then, and then if that gun exists, then we will be able to ex to see. Oh, actually, here we go. But they would object with the rumors. You know that, right? No, no, we're not gonna say it's rumors. It's not. We're Find just, a way to put it. Just but say put rumors. it, put it there. Mm. Let it be there. Mm. Don't put the question itself to say yeah. was it so and so's gun. Yeah. But to say this is the type that I think it was. Mm. The color was like this. Mm. This is what it had a wheel. Didn't have a wheel. Mm. It was long. It was shorter. More shorter than the normal ones that we know. Mm. Small things, they mm. go a long way. Mm. Well, regarding the second weapon, the knife, similarly, I asked, this is Ramesipele, you, the knife, the length, the blade, and then selective memory lo loss. Mm. That's what you said. And you said you won't remember it. Then Twala said, like I said, it's either a knife or a sharp object. So when a person is holding a thing, they are going to see how long it is because they are holding it. Mm. And I'm like, yo, evasive. You see, small, small, what, what evasive. Are you saying? And and you don't need to fight this one. What this one, this saying? one, this one is a softie. You don't need to f f fight this one. Mm -mm. It, it, it gives you small details. If you are going with your junior lawyers and whatnot, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you will crack this guy faster because mm. small things are like that will be highlighted mm. while we are busy. Mm. Small things like that. Then when you go on in closing, before you close and describe the whole thing that happened to the defense, and then you go back to small questions. Those small, he had like eight minutes or so. Yeah. That eight minutes could have could done have. a lot. But again, I, I, I know that many people are itching for Advocate Mshololo to come in. Yeah. But this guy... He has laid the ground. He laid the proper ground. And I want that to be on record because people won't understand. They are thinking it was just, he laid the ground. He laid the ground. Even when they were disturbing him. And, and I want to, 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 to you'll, you'll see as we continue with uh, this, the script. Mm. We will see what, what, what really transpired there. Continue, Emil. And he said, I'm going to show you, you've got five versions of that incident with the written police statements. Mm. Now, this is the sixth time under oath that you are talking about this incident. And I'll show that from your statements, how you facilitate between the issues, how you've got selective memory. Mm. And then the interpreter complained that, of course, he's... Uh, his statements are too long. What he's saying is too long. Then Twala said it's fine. He could hear him. Then advocate Mshororo stood to object that the purpose of interpretation is not only for the witness, but for the accused as well. Mm. Their clients should not be prejudiced in the process. And the judge asked Ramosipili to keep it short and manageable. Mm. So Ramosipili re-asked the question. She said, I'm putting 
to you is that on certain matters you are a matter of fact but on uncomfortable matters you develop amnesia yes then uh, ramosepele asked longwetwala escaping from the house where there are intruders with other captives in the house mm. gives him an opportunity to sound an alarm and seek help mm-hmm. then twala said yes i hear you I hear what you are saying, but at the end of the day, I will not speak for Longwe. What he did and what he is uh, supposed to do and what he did not do. At the end of the day, he has to speak. He has to be the one to come and speak for himself in court. Yes. Ask about me. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is now where you see, okay, here at least uh, there was a bit of an advice. Do not answer questions that... Do not include you. Make sure, by all means, you stay away from those questions. Definitely. To even further elaborate that you must ask about me. Mm. That is someone who has a bit of law knowledge in saying that. I mean, say a, a, a normal person, a normal person w- would, would be willing to answer yes. these questions. Yes. But to to have that po- to take that position of saying ask answer, about ask me. A que- ask questions about me. That is a lawyer. That is something that is supposed to be objected by Baloi. By Baloi. But eventually this guy was able to object. Himself. Rightfully so, in right positions. Himself. Very good. <laughs> Cutting the job for Mr. <laughs> Mr. Vaseline. Ramu Sipile then said, when Longo got out, that is when the rest of the people got out of the sofas and approached the two intruders. Then Twala said, yes, mm. Senzo especially because he was the first one to get up and approach the person. Yeah. So Ramasipile then said, the first person you see approaching the intruder was the deceased. Which intruder did he approach? And Twala said, the first one, the gunman, the short one. Mm. Then I remember that, okay, Tumelo said Senzo was busy pushing the second intruder uh, to the wall. Um, the one that he even punched in the face, right? Yes. Okay. So Ramu Sipile then asked, then who stood up and which intruder did they approach? Mm. Then Twala said, I won't, I won't be certain. It happened fast. And I also took my phone from where it was. Mm-hmm. Then Ramu Sipile said, according to you, now this is where the scuffle begins. Yes. Then they displayed an exhibit looking at the kitchen in Kelukumalo's mother's house. Yes. So Ramasipile asked, would we agree that this is the smallest kitchen? Mm. And Twala said, I won't say I won't say it the way that you're saying it, but the kitchen is not big. Mm. Again, is he answering the question? <laughs> then Ramasipile said, next, next to the sink, uh, the people that were there were the deceased, the two intruders, Tumelo Majala, Makumalo, and Zandile Kumalo, uh, yeah, Twala then said yes. Uh, Ramasipele said, how mobile was Tumelo Madlala at the time? Because you said Zandi and her mother were using crutches to hit the intruders. Mm. Then Twala said, he said he didn't understand his movement. Was he limping or not? He didn't understand the question or the statement that Ramasipele put forward. Then he answered. He answered, said that he was moving without them. Mm-hmm. But he was moving mm-hmm. without the mm-hmm. crutches. I don't know where he was, whether he was limping. I didn't concentrate on that. Then Rabbu Sipile said the deceased and Tumelo Madlala were involved in a scuffle with the second intruder. That will be the taller of the two intruders. Mm. Then Twala said he denied and he said he never pointed out that it was the tall one. But the scuffle was between the two deceased and Tumelo and Zandi and Zandi's mom. This is This is to me... I, I find myself also fi- contradicting my thinking. I don't know it's me or really there's a contradiction here. The first statement was that there was a scuffle which was later corrected to mm. a tussle, later corrected to, to wrestling. Wrestle. There was a, a scuffle mm-hmm. between Senzo and the second intruder. In my first thinking. And I, I would uh, really, because that's what Tumelo I thought. Because that. the first one that was being harassed mm-hmm. is the one that had a gun. That was oh. my thinking. Tell me, tell me otherwise. Tell me, tell me, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm lying. Oh, yes. That, that was my thinking. Because where uh, 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 Mr. Vert, uh, uh, Steve Ovo was going, he was going to the direction of 
if this guy was tussling, Senzo was tussling with the second intruder, mm -hmm. how did he get shot? Because mm. that's why he was asking the position of Senzo. Mm. It's like it's like it's like think think of think of think of it this way. It's like Senzo is scuffling with the guy facing the door, right? Yes. And then the guy is facing the whole room and yes. the action behind Senzo. Yes. And then as Senzo is facing the door, scuffling with this guy, he turns around and then the guy who's being harassed with crashes there, shoots him. Because mm. that's the only way you shoot Senzo in the front, from the front. Mm. It's if you are facing him head on. So I felt there, somewhere, somehow, there was a bit of correction that, that, that happened on, by, by, by Twala himself. Mm. It, to me, it felt like I, I'm correcting that. Actually, it can be. Because now, it it, be logically, if you look at it, it doesn't make sense. Yes. If Senzo was stepped, it would make sense. But he was shot. Mm. So it, it must be that he turned, faced what is happening at the back mm. while... He's, hold, I don't know, holding this guy because this guy also had a, a weapon. Mm -hmm. So you can't just turn and, and forget the guy that you are busy with. And that's you go shot. Done. And then that's where that's where things got twisted. Because in the manner that Tumel was giving a, a, his testimony, it's like, okay, I'm passing by the door and then I hit, you know? Mm. Because I'm, I want to run out without crashes, by the way. I want to run out. And then I realized, hey, my friend, my friend is is busy here, is is fighting for his life. Let me stop and just throw one fist, <laughs> and then decided to immediately when there was that bow, then he ran back, forgot to go outside. Hmm. He ran back further inside. Yeah, it's a lot. Ramusipele uh, said that they'll check the records. So according to my understanding, Zandi Kumalo and her mother both had crutches and were assaulting the gunmen. And then on the sidelines of that scuffle, the deceased and Dumelo Madlala are also busy involved in a scuffle with the tall intruder. Mm, and Tala mm. said, I never said that. Please show me where I said that. See, that's when he's realizing, oh, actually, that would be impossible to get the position of sense. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is my thinking. Then Ramu Sibele uh, said the transcripts will be pulled because I want to show you that you run away from issues when it becomes uncomfortable. Mm. Then Advocate Baloi said, according to his note, that is what his witness said, that he never mentioned the second intruder in a scuffle. Mm. Then the judge said that it seemed that Ramu Sibele said he would be relying on the records, but he is deviating away from the record on his line of questioning. It's problematic when you continue of what he keeps disputing. And then Ramosipele said that they can go on record to see what he said. Went to the record to check, mentioning of the tall intruder in the scuffle, and they had to adjourn for a tea break. Mm. So they came back, and after they came back, Advocate Baloi said that they listened to the recordings, and all the people in the house and the two intruders were in the kitchen. The assault was in respect of the first intruder and that the crutches of Tumelo were used to assault the first intruder. The person involved in that assault was Tumelo Zandile Kumalo and Miss Kumalo Senior said Ramosepile, so he was actually confirming what had happened before. Mm -hmm. So we can say that uh, in the records they found that Ramosepile what he had said. So he confirms that it is what the record had stated. So did all the other defense attorneys, they also confirmed it. So are we aware now it was denied that that thing was existing in the statement? Was it denied? I just don't remember it being denied. No, but the, okay. Maybe you haven't reached the part where the judge... The part that I have a problem with is that yeah. when the judge says uh, to Ramusipen, you are continuing to ask these questions that are out of line because there is no proof. I think it, it happened twice. It happened so twice. The, the first, first one, time. Yeah. the first one, yes. I think he, uh, 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 Steve Ovo considered that no, uh, yes, I might have actually had wrong. Okay. Yeah. So uh, moving on, Twala said yes, and then Ramosipele said, now that we are clearing 
up is that I had in erroneously put to you that the deceased and Dumelo Madlala were in a scuffle with the taller intruder. Mm. The assault with the crutches of Dumelo Madlala are in regard to the uh, second intruder or the first intruder. Yeah. Then Twala said, yes, that's what I said. Then Rabu Sipile said, let's talk about the taller of the two men, in the intruder with the knife, the second one. Yeah. While the scuffle was taking place, did you see the knife? And then Twala said, although I would say, I wouldn't say that I saw the knife, but I remember that he was in possession of a knife. Now, my question is, did you see the knife or not? Mm. You know, I wish he could have pressed on that. Did you see the knife or not? Because your questions... Your answers. <laughs> then Ramusipele said, we are looking at a picture inside the kitchen where there is a baby formula and other things. Would you agree that the picture was taken after the incident? Then Twala said, I wouldn't know as I was not there. The pictures, when the pictures were being taken. Ramusipele then asked, I want to establish the position where the deceased was facing with reference to the door when the scuffle was happening. Yeah. Then Twala said, I want to remember where he was facing, but all I can say, he was here. He pointed where he was okay. to the screen and the pointer. Ram Ramusipele then said, where was the first intruder relative to the deceased? Then Twala said, he was close to him here. Then he pointed again. Ramosipili then asked, as the scuffle was going on, did you see the firearm? And Twala said, the first intruder, the short one, was still holding it, and the firearm went off. Then Advocate Mishololo said that although I no, cannot... No, no, Yeah? Here, he did not answer this question. And I remember I had a problem with this question. He did not answer this question okay. in, a, in, a, in a correct way. You know what he says? What did he say? He says the first person who came in is the one who had a gun. Mm. Okay, mm. we can take that. But in answering the question, did you see who shot this firearm or firearm at the mm. time? Mm. He says there is one person who had a gun. So that means there are four. That is the person who shot. But in this case, he did not see who shot. Mm. Mm. That's but what there was one person who, and I'm sure I was trying to correct it in, 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 with, with her Zulu, because um, Zulu. Mm. He, unfortunately, I told you, I, 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 that that that, that interpreter fights. It's like now he's a lawyer. There. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, yeah, 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 that man disturbs now and then for me because when someone who understands Zuru corrects you, why Take won't you accept correction. that? Why do you become so defensive? Take the correction. It's like you are prolonging the case also. While, yes. while Ngala, uh, it's almost uh, like they uh, chose the Afro, worst. Mr. Afro, Mr. Worst. Afro is taking his sweet time writing, asking the questions, adding. And those questions that I ask, by the way, uh, they, they, I, 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 I'm not a lawyer, ne? but I would safely say those questions that you would ask. So I want you to explain to me, how did the punch? Was it wrestling? or uh, 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 Whether it was a tussle, whether it was a Oh my God. It's a matter of English. Oh and, my and these God. things, they are interconnected. They, they, in fact, they are one explain the other. Mm. How you put it, wrestling is a fight. It is a fight. So is tussling. Tussling is also a fight. We can tussle and and and, and the, the, the fight. We you mean we, the same thing. We can be in a scuffle. It's like wrestling. So I, I don't understand. Those small things, I want us to accept this and not accept this terminology. It's it's English. Are you an English teacher? It's English. <laughs> <laughs> I get frustrated too sometimes. I'm like, ah, is this really happening in a court in South Africa? It's English, for heaven's sake. Anyone can use any name. Wow. It's a waste of time that we are going to argue. It's a tussle. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a scaffold. It's a wrestle. Really? Where does it help the case? I don't case? know. I don't imagine you're one of the accused. It's like they're the, doing they are that, fighting. That, that. Okay, this one minimizes a bit. If you say this one, it sort of minimizes the 
the the the the, the, the how this thing sounds it's a waste of time oh my god you are wasting time very soon you're going to be telling us about the break very soon that's going to take 6 months or, or 5 months or something like stop that stop wasting time and ngapa sine interpreter that is also fighting Wait. small things whoa 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 uh, 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 you can't accept Anja. correction. Vet, you can hear. Ne? I'm sorry. You can hear that man knows Zulu, but not that much. Not that deep. Between, not KZN. Between, between that, Zulu. between Mshololo and that man who's an interpreter, Mshololo, Mshololo is far dominant. Let me put it in this way: Mshololo is is first language speaker of yes. Zulu. Yes. And then, Accept the correction and move and on. And then, and then, this guy who's interpreter is a Jobek Zulu speaker, and you can hear the words and what you. It's clear. It's easy to hear between yes. Zulu. If I speak, that guy speaks. You won't find it hard. If mm. you wanna hear a hardcore Zulu interpreter, go to Nisa's case. Mm. The interpreter hey. there is <laughs> deep rooted hardcore Zulu, not just simple Zulu. I learned that even yes. I couldn't hear what he was saying. <laughs> So, all I'm saying is that accept if someone who understands Zuru better than you, mm. even better than Togo, by the way, mm. because Togo is from Deben. There's, yes. there's a huge difference between someone who comes from Deben and from Zululand side mm. of things. Zululand side, those people they they, they hardcore in, into Isizul. So accept that accept and the go correction on. and move on. No That's need. why sometimes Togo wants to bypass this man. And say I understand. <laughs> What is trying to so move a bill? <laughs> nah, I'm is getting frustrated. Everyone's getting frustrated. Because he's not translating properly. That's the thing. He's not translating as is being said. And he, when he's corrected, he doesn't want to accept the correction. Please press that like button, guys. We have 57 people who. Uh, we have 383 people uh, watching us right now. We Shout have 57 uh, likes. Can we have so that we push more and push faster and then allow the calls at some time, some point? And may continue. Okay, Ramasipuli then said, the firearm may have went off, but you don't know in whose hands that firearm went off. Then Chala said, in the hand of the person who had it. Then Ramasipuli said, and that, and that person will be, and then Chala said, the shot guy, the gunman. Ramasipuli then asked, when uh, that firearm went off, did you see what they call in ballistics, muscle flash, the sparks and powder flying out of the gun and then Tala said I wouldn't say I saw it mm. Ramos Sipili then asked how many shots did you hear mm. Tala said I heard the first shot mm -hmm. and on my way out I might have heard a second shot Yes. Ramos Sipili then asked what do you mean in your perspective by the word a scuffle then Tala said sort of like a fightish but a fight is another thing then the judge asked him to demonstrate it. He demonstrated and he said that they were not hitting each other. They wanted to pass. The judge says they were wrestling or tussling. Ramasipile says that they got uh, what they got from the dictionary is that a scuffle is a confused fight so, in a confined spaces. So again, tell me, is this judge more well articulated when it comes to English than the rest of those lawyers? I'm saying this because his weight becomes the final weight in terms of... He's the judge. Yeah, but between the tussle, wrestling, and how you comprehend it and whatnot, well... The witness said, eh, but in scuffle. And then so the, I don't understand why the judge has to change the meaning. didn't even meaning. contest that thing that much. Ne? It, yeah. was the, it was started by Mr. Afro. Started that. Why thing. did does the judge get involved? If the in judge that? feels that okay, this is the way that I want to use, which is wrestling, right? Wrestling slash, uh, task, uh, uh, scaffold. scaffold. You know, because really by by giving for me, I don't know how you guys deal with this thing. For me, by giving those small lanyana explanation, you are basically reducing the sev severity of that thing. Mm. You are saying, okay, it's a small lanyana thing. It wasn't a big it thing. It wasn't a big thing. Mm. And by so, we are distorting what is given as a testimony. True. You are reducing it to a small issue. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. The judge said that they don't expect the witness to bring dictionary stuff. Ramasipele then reminded him that he's actually the one who came with the word. <laughs> then the judge said that he's only describing what he saw. And he said, I asked him to demonstrate. And what he demonstrated is more of a tussle and a wrestle between two people. Well, Ramasipele said... Uh, Others are being hit as part of that scuffle. Then it turns into a fight. Mm. Then the judge said he doesn't know. He will clarify because he speaks about a tussle in his understanding involving the deceased. But when he speaks about beating, it involves the second intruder in Makuma, Lozandi, and Tumel. The tussle so, or so scuffle Emil, he's uh, uh, speaking uh, uh, about t- Tell me, me something. Tell me it's something. It's not the beating. Yes? Someone comes with a gun mm-hmm. and I get a chance of grabbing that person. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that qualify as a fight? It's because a fight. I'm going to fight for my life. You're fighting for your I'm life. fighting for my life. In fact, that's it's how that's how you put it. I was fighting for my life. You are fighting for your life. If, if the deceased was here, he survived that thing. You said he would have said, "I, I fought fighting. for my life." True, true. You but, are fighting. But it is it is now called with someone passing out of that <laughs> so called tussle. Someone eventually passed away. You are calling Aye. it. You are calling it a tussle, a wrestling. As if a life was not lost there. Ah, I so. Yeah, but uh, that, but what that was not debunked earlier. The deceased and Tumelo Matlala were in a scuffle with a taller intruder. But I guess they're trying to tell us that the first intruder was with Senzo because the judge extracted Tumelo from the first intruder, right? Mm. So that's what I, I came up to. So Ramasipelo continued, said, Now your testimony is that during this tussle, you were protecting Christian, Kelly Kumalo's toddler son. Then Advocate Mishololo asked that, are they going to u- be using the word scuffle or tussle? From now on. And then the judge says they will not use the dictionary. He will go by the description of what they saw. And Ramosipela asked if they continue with tussle or scuffle. They settled on the word wrestling at the end of the day. That, that's what that's what I'm trying so to say. That's what I'm trying lot. to say. This this man, this man is the same man who took a testimony. The whole testimony led by uh, Baloi, which in which involved a, a, a scuffle. Up until we came here and said there was a scuffle, what is a scuffle? It mm-hmm. sounds like a word that can be used by Baloy. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, it needs <laughs> a proper definition. It needs to be addressed. <laughs> ah, suka. <laughs> we are over it. <laughs> we are over. Move in. It's wrestling. <laughs> Move on. It's even if, you, even if you say it's it was a fight, fight. It, even if you say it was a fight of hands, it's okay. So Ramos Hippili then asked, and asked, your testimony is that after the gun went off, you ran outside of the house. You left Christian, the child, behind. Then Twala said yes, because when the gun went off, he ran towards the sitting room. So when you go out, do you have an interaction with the second intruder? Ramos Hippili asked. Then Twala said, I just passed. I can't recall pushing him. I just went past. Then Ramos Hippili once said, once you've passed him, then a bell rings in his head. Mm. Then he decides to chase you, yet he just let you pass by without him stopping you mm. you pass without incident he doesn't stop you or restrain you mm-hmm. does he let you pass by him without stopping you or pursuing you then Twala said I won't say that he left me or he did what but what I am saying is that I passed in front of him he left with me and started pursuing me Ramu Sibili then asked before the gun went off where were you and Christian standing? Then Twala said, I could say Christian was on my left, mm. but I was close to the fridge, not far from the fridge. Mm. Christian was by the passage. The second intruder, where is he relative to you? Then Twala said he was by the sink. I won't say specifically, he was also at uh, at the wrestling. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ramosipele then asked, the firearm goes off. What happens to Makuma Lozandi and Matlala? Then Twala said, I don't know. After the firearm went off, I ran out. Ramosipele then asked, you said the kitchen was smallish. You were on the other side of the scaffold on the hallway leading to the fridge. Mm -hmm. Then Twala said, yes, I said that it was a small kitchen, but whether the kitchen was small does not mean that there was no movement in it. I say it's small because I'm comparing it to the other kitchens, but it does not mean that with all the people inside the kitchen uh, were no movements or 
those people could not move. Mm. Now he was really becoming evasive in my own opinion because I'm not getting an answer and I was becoming frustrated. So Rami Sipile then said, after the gunshot, where did these people go to? So that there is a way for you to pass by the by and exit the kitchen. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Then Twella said, the way you put it, you're putting it as if these people were blocking so that there could be no way to pass. Ramsey Pile said, you went through whoever was there in the kitchen. Twala said, people were there by the sink on the left. I got, to, I got out towards the side. I went behind them to go out. In that small Anyana kitchen. What I do not understand, on the right there were people, on the left there were people, right? Yes. So you had to squeeze in. I happen to know a house of that size. Mm-hmm. Just coming across a person in that kitchen, it becomes difficult. You have to let that yeah, person but... make a way for that person mm. by standing sideways. Mm. And then that person passes. Two, now we're talking about two wrestling people. Others then... They are still, I don't know whether it's still qualifies, it's still qualified to be wrestling with the others with, who's got crushes. Maybe it's 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 wrestling, the real one mm. that we watch on television. Mm. So you had to squeeze between the two people, behind mm. both people, maybe other facing the other side, the other yeah. one facing the other side. Come on. You, you pass behind You've them. got to be joking. Hey. Hi. You've got to be joking. Ramos Ibele then said, at what point did did, did did the second intruder pursue you? And then Twala said, when I was running out near the tap, I noticed there was someone behind me. Ramasipele said, did you see the person, the second intruder? Then Twala said, yes, although I didn't see his face, but his height I saw. It would have been nice to slide in a question, you know, that did you see what he was wearing? <laughs> in my opinion. Then Ramasipele said, prior to the second intruder chasing you, you've testified that you've exited the house, you've crossed paths, paths with the deceased and Twala said yes in which direction is the deceased going as you exit and Twala said he's going to the direction I was coming from and I'm leaving through the door then Ramasipile asked at that time when you crowded paths uh, with Senzo when you were running out did you notice he was shot then Twala said no Ramasipile then said you then ran outside the Kumalo house turned left again then left then jumped the big gate of the neighbors to enter Twala said he jumped on the side of the small gate. Mm-hmm. Ramosipele said you and you jumped over the neighbor's gate into the yard. Did you encounter the neighbors or anybody from the, from that yard? Mm-hmm. Then Twala said the boy of the house and father. Ramosipele then said, did you talk to them? Twala said, I can't remember who spoke first, but they asked me who I was. Ramosipele asked, did you say to them? What did you say to them? And then Twala said, I told them who I was and who I was with and what happened. Then Ramasipila asked, what did you say to them? What what had happened? Then Twala said, I can't remember specifically, eh? but it was along the lines that we were being robbed. Yet he remembered that, the, 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 look at this. Mm. You remember that you, you first talked to the boy mm. because you keep on emphasizing to the boy. Yes. But yet, you remember that the boy uh, actually said uh, they, they, they wanted to help, right? Mm. You remember all that. But, but you you're forgetting what you said to what them. What you said to them. Mm. So Ramasipele asked, how long did you take in the neighbor's yard talking to who you were talking to before you jumped back into the yard? He was not about then to give Twala, time. I would be lying. I was scared. I would say what time it took, but I wouldn't say it took long. Maybe the boy and father can say what time it took. Ramasipele asked, your estimation, would you say it was seconds, minutes, or minutes? Minute or minutes? Twala said, I won't guess. Mm. Ramosipili then said the person you met in that yard made several statements and he will be called as a witness he will testify that he met you up when you first jumped in that you told him there is a big problem in the Kumalo household and had been attacked and that the deceased was shot then Twala said I won't dispute what he said that's what he said not me Ramosipili then said 
what I'm getting to is that you said in this court that you didn't know Senzo was shot when you ran out. Mm -hmm. Twala said, I hear what you are saying, but I thought you said the person would be called to court. Ramosiple then said, he will also testify that the sooner you entered his yard, immediately you jumped back to the Kumalo house. He did not jump back with you into the Kumalo household or yard. Then Twala said, are you referring to the father? It's the son. Let him come to court and explain that to us. Then Ramosipili said, when you jumped back to the house, where was the first intruder, the one with the gun? Then Tala said, I left both of them in the house, but the other one left with me. So there were so many contradictions at this point. Mm -hmm. So Ramosipili said, let's speak to the one you left out with. He chases you, you jump into the neighbor's yard, where does he go? Did you observe that? Then Tala said, he went down the road. Mm. I don't know where he ended up. I went left. He also went left. He didn't jump in the neighbor's yard. He went straight down the road. Isn't this interesting? This is very interesting. Now, the second intruder chases you, goes after you, and then you jump into the neighbor's uh, yard, and then they go down the road. They don't even go back to warn the first intruder that uh, we have a problem. Mm. They, they go down the road. That that does I found very interesting. So Ramosipili said... What I also find interesting is that we have about five people arrested. There was a claim at some point that this other one was two, were standing by the the power station, the, right? The danger box. The danger box. Yes. When this man... <laughs> when this man, Emil, runs out... Guess what? He passes by the danger box. Yes, to the neighbor. To the he neighbor. Jumped their gate. And he, he's saying, he answered that question, I didn't see anyone else. Mm. Mm -mm. So you didn't see anyone else. Then why do we have five people standing there then? Why? Did you see any vehicle, any other vehicle besides? No. Hmm. So Ramu Sibele said, specifically the gunman, did you leave him in the kitchen area where these shots got fired? And Twala said, yes, as you are in the neighbor's yard, the position of the neighbor's house and the kitchen door of the Kumalo uh, household, how are they relative to each other? And then Twala said, although I didn't pay attention, but I would say they faced each other. Is the kitchen door on this side and the other side is also the kitchen door. So Ramu And that's Sibele, how they built, by the way, uh, for those who are not uh, in South Africa, that's how we built. The in this new development, debunked. the bones house. They, if 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 your door is is if the kitchen door is on the other side, it will probably face your neighbor's door, your neighbor's door. But now these days, they also build. They have that pattern of doors facing one side, so that means mm. they don't face each other. But there, seemingly, the doors were facing each, each other. other. So Ramosipili said, you jumped on the neighbor's side where there is the kitchen door. Twala said, when I jumped to the neighbor's, I jumped to the side. He was, it was the dining room door. That's the side that he claims to have jumped from, not the kitchen door. Mm. So Ramosipili said, as you speak to the son, did you see the Kumalo uh, kitchen uh, door? Then Twala said, there is concrete wall but I could see the door, but I don't have a clear vision of what happened at the door, but the door was there. Ramasipili then asked the height of that wall. Uh, what was it? Twala said, I won't be able to explain. It's something that can be measured because it the concrete is still there. It was a catch. Mm. Because if he was able to say it was shorter, as I said initially, then there is a possibility that he jumped the wall. Mm. So Ramosipili then said, when you ran outside, it was dark. Twala said, I don't remember well, but I wouldn't say it was bright. It was at night. Yeah. Hey, but Ramosipili, where is him to go answer? They are hot and cold and, and warm. Way. Way, one kubu zutu melo. But this time we are trained. <laughs> we are trained to, to beg a cell, to withstand. Mm. 
the frustration. So Ramusi Pillar said, as you ran, did you notice anyone else on the lookout? Then Twala said, no. Ramusi Pillar asked, did you see Longwe Twala who ran out before you as you were running out? Then Twala said, no, I didn't see him. Ramusi Pillar asked, remember when we were talking about the cars, the X6, the VW Polo, where was the red Polo? Where were the cars when you went outside? Then Twala said, although I would not say they were in the same position, but they were still there. Very interesting. Here is the catch here. I don't care whether they were there or not there, but did, since they were there, that would be my question. Mm -hmm. From the, the the picture that we were shown, yes, it was X6 and then the red. logged by the red car. Mm. You know, what is interesting then mm -hmm. is, okay, since you are saying that there was... A, a red car, it was still there. Yes. How did you move the red car when after you took Senzo into the X6, which was blocked in my thinking, and, and if, if, if I remember correct, the, 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 that picture, how did you move out? Because there, there was a car behind. Yes. How did you move out? Of I of of, of that, of that yard, because there were uh, a, a, a long way was nowhere to be found right after running out. Yes, and we are told that at some point he, he ran towards the park. Yes. Yeah. So how did you move the car? Was there a second person who was in that car? Mm. Perhaps who moved the car moved the that car. is not being mentioned. Mm. That is an important question. Mm -hmm. Because out of all this, remember, guys, we are talking about Senzo being taken, the body. Long way is nowhere to be found. Mm -mm. Long way is nowhere to be found. Mm -mm. The only time Mr. Twala testified about Long way again was when he puts Long way at the hospital. At the hospital. Well, Ramasipela asked, at some stage, did you call out Longwe? Twala said, no. Ramasipela said, I put it to you that your conduct on that night undermines that there were intruders in the house. Then Twala said, that's your view. Without making sure that the first intruder who just fired a mortal or fatal shot is still in the house immediately, jumps back into the house without making sure that the coast is clear for safety. Then Twala had a problem with the word immediately, saying he didn't say the word. It was said by the neighbor. Now this he is says where, he never used the word. This is where now you get him back into estimation because you have caught him between the, the rock and the hard the surface. Place. So... Since you are saying not immediately, then what would be immediately to you? What mm. would be the time for you to say this is immediately? And he did answer by saying jump jump in and jump out. Mm. So that is immediately to you. Mm. So approximately two seconds or three, or let's say two minutes roughly. Is that immediately to you? Mm. Is five minutes immediately to you? Mm. Ten minutes? Is it more than immediately to you? He really didn't want to estimate that time. Because I get you want him to estimate. I hate it. And he's to. talking about immediately and not immediately. Mm. Already he's trying to give you time now to mm. say it was not soon that I went back. Yes. So you might as well estimate him for me because I'm going to say 10 minutes for me is immediately, mm. Mr. Twala. Mm. 20 minutes is immediately. Did it take you more than 20 minutes? Then he would say no. It, it no, it didn't take you more than two, twenty I'm minutes. Just yeah, Nkman, you are trying to bring him into yeah, time. Closer to a you are trying to bring time now, to cut down to range. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, he and the only thing that made you realize that these intruders are no more in the house is by hearing Mrs. Kumalo or Miss Kumalo screaming, screaming or crying. That's the only thing that that uh, gave you that uh, wanting to jump back to, to the very same scene that you ran away from. That's the only thing. Not mm. unless, uh, uh, Mr. Twala, what you are saying is that it was someone you knew and probably you would have had the car moving uh, and, and you just wanted to go help your friend, realizing that maybe your friend, as you say, you didn't see him getting shot, maybe 
something happened to your friend. Hmm. And then you went back to hell, knowing exactly that the car is gone. Well, Twala said, I explained that when we went back, I went back hearing noises and his mom was crying, getting outside that we were going to miss each other. Ramasipele said, how long after you had jumped into the neighbor's yard was Makumalo screaming? Then you went back to the Kumalo house. What is the time period in between? And then Twala said, I don't remember the time. I, I don't want to estimate the time here because I don't remember. Advocate Baloi uh, wants the witness to clarify where Makumalo was screaming. Mm. Uh, Twala said, I remember asking Makumalo who was the one who was the one holding the gun. She said he went out. So Ramos But that was when you are inside the yard. It was not you uh, just leaping and saying by the name, hey, where's the other one? Is it gone now? Yeah, you couldn't have peeped according to how you you want to state it no he said it, 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 it was when they were facing each other they were facing each other after he jumped after he jumped okay established it was after he jumped so Ram Sipili said, you did not see the first intruder leaving the Kumalo household. Then Twala said, no, I didn't see him. Ram Sipili said, the neighbors went out because they heard the commotion. Twala said, do you mean all the neighbors? He was asked to clarify. So Ram Sipili said, as you ran out, you said you could also see that the neighbors were aware of what was happening. And then Advocate Baloi said, I don't think the witness said that. The judge asked when did he say that? Then Twala denied saying that it, he heard the neighbors. Or the neighbors, neighbors heard, heard that. The, 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 that. Then the advocate also admitting that they were, that is where he might have mistaken it. Mm-hmm. This is Twala saying it. And then Ramosipili said, when you meet the son of the neighbor, did you tell him, there goes one of the intruders who was chasing me and was involved in the incident in the Kumalo household. Then Chala said, yes, I pointed him. Yet he doesn't remember what he was wearing, right? Mm. Mm. Then Ramosipili said, did they take action? Then Chala said, I won't say there is anything they did in front of me. I don't remember well. Ramasipili then said, as you were talking to them, did you tell them there is a second one, a gunman, who is inside the house? Then Twala said, I can't remember. I don't see it. I can't remember. Then Ramasipili said, did you remember asking the neighbor's son to call the police? Then Twala said, not specifically then, but when I went back into the house, there was mention to call police and an ambulance. Then Ramasipili said, the first time the intruders entered the home and they announced cell phones and money, you said you immediately grabbed your phone where was your phone then Twala said next to the tv the first intruder on the hallway at the ark uh can you can did they see you reaching for that phone on the sofa then Twala said according to how you put it it's false senzo got up as soon as they pushed each other to the kitchen i took my phone not at the time he was still standing there mm. Then Ramosipili said, what did you do with that cell phone? Then Twala said, I took it and put it in my pocket. Earlier, you said you were charging the cell phone and it was rudely interrupted by Kelly Kumalo, taking it out of the charger and plugging hers to charge. Then Twala said, yes, from the time the intruders entered the house at around 8 o'clock in the evening on the 26th of October 2014 until they left after the shots were fired. How long were they in the house? Then Twala said it didn't take a long time. Everything was fast and they were not they were not there to stay. Mm. Now Ntogo was being difficult here. And he said he won't be specific, uh, but it didn't take a long time. When he says eight, he doesn't exactly mean eight. It's an estimation. He doesn't remember. Mm. So Ramos Sipele then said he is not answering the question. The judge interfered saying that the witness is clear that they don't want to estimate the time. That's Judge Shipiwa Maumela. That's, that's, that's very interesting. And uh, the, 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 the letting go of everything. What would be interesting also is to, since they said there were five people, not twelve, mm -hmm. was there any car that they had when these intruders maybe were moving out of the scene or they, they ran out and disappeared? Mm. 
And and if that is the case, I would like to know how long will it take them to reach maybe the park or something like that. Mm. It, it will be very interesting. Mm. Very. And considering, I think the park is the other way around, not yes. the neighbors. So this other one ran down to the neighbors and then... The other one went in the opposite the direction. The opposite direction. It will be very interesting. Well, Ramosepele decides to leave it like that. Now, you return to the house. When did you first notice that the deceased had been shot? Then Twala said, I saw him lying on the floor. I lifted his T-shirt and saw a bullet hole. So Ramosepele said, where was he laying? Twala said, in the sitting room area. On the side we were sitting at. He pointed on the exhibit. So Ramosepele said, in what position did you find him lying in? Then Twala said, he was facing up. Ramosepele asked, where was the gunshot wound? Dutwala said on his chest because I lifted his T-shirt. The judge asked Ramosipele what he means by lift up, which I felt was not a question for Ramosipele that he should have placed. Then uh, uh, Ramosipele said, yes, uh, let the witness answer. I, he, I don't want to put words in his mouth. Then Togo demonstrated the lifting of the shirt. One thing I don't understand is the judge and why does it seem like he's not paying small attention? Things, small things, man. Like like pulling up the shirt, you need to now to explain, pull it up. But who? Okay. Uh, I'm hearing here, Sizu uh, Mkaka. I wish him Shololo was a lawyer for one and two. Now, what you are failing to notice, Sizu, I will tell you, in this case, uh, according to me, no one will in this case going solo. No. No. You need, they need each other. If you think that Mshololo taking over all these people is going to sort of solve this problem, the questions that were given by Ramusipedi, mm. probably Mshololo was not going to be able to bring them the way they are right now, which mm. they have opened a lot of loopholes. Loopholes. And then maybe this is where people get confused. Yeah. It's like, you have a playmaker, a male, mm -hmm. in football who dribbles, maybe Messi, dribbles everyone, 10 people, 4 people, and then passes you to tap in in the, in the net. And then people say, yeah, you are a G. The confusion is there. Mm -hmm. The hard work is done by people who are breaking the person before you even come and tap in. Yes, before the scoring. So the if goal. there is no that tap in, how are you going to score? I remember when uh, Sundowns bought uh, Love, uh, Zimbabwean striker. Mm. They said every time he scores a goal, they will increase. They will they will pay him more at Sundowns. I think something like that. Mm. You know what Sundowns players did? What the playmakers, Bomuril. Yeah, Surprise I Muril. felt like they were passing the ball behind him all the time on purpose. <laughs> That's my feeling. <laughs> Because, Team I mean, what, what are you saying if you are going to say, if you score goals, uh, I will increase your, your, your salary. What Every about time us? You, spare, you score a goal, you get more, <laughs> 20,000 maybe on top. I'm just making an example. Yeah. So what about the rest of people who are defending so that you don't lose the game? What about the rest of creators and, and, and everyone who's working hard? And then you are saying when uh, the scorer must always get money. They will pass the person at the back. We are losing that game. Hey. So now people look at Msholole, I wish Msholole is here. Msholole is in that position because maybe Msholole knows I'm not a striker. I'm a finisher. Mm. So I'm going to He's, wait. She's a very good finisher. You know, let's, let's let her, her wait. Don't give her that pressure of saying, go front, go front. Right now because she's collecting like, the loopholes yeah, right now. You like should a, be happy that they like, exist. They did this thing with D4 also. Yes. They did this thing with D4. Today some of them they are now saying, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, this was Might right. Have been this was not a something. problem, actually. Mm. My, you know, a lot of things is unfolding. Mm. But we, were in, we wouldn't have seen this thing. This case would be totally different. True. Give people credit. Those who are ahead, let them be ahead. Don't make them feel inferior. Because changing a striker and putting that striker as a defender, you concede 10 goals. You don't even score one, maybe. No, don't worry. Mshololo is collecting. Mshololo is coming. She's going to finish. Wait for Mshololo. Let us look finish. at the new guys that have come. <laughs> we have seen Ramusipedi, how he does things. He opens and is a good person to open. Yes. A very good person to open. Yes. Give that guy that credit. Go to the second one. 
Maybe that person, maybe these people they really position themselves. Mm. And when I use, ah, when Mshololo, 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 Mshololo comes in first on the next witness, things go left. Mshololo is the 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 aggressive type of, you know, you want her at the end. He's an, an Mshololo. She's an emphasizer. Yeah. Everything that has been poked, Mshololo is able to highlight it and say, yes. yeah. You see here, you said this. You see here, you said that. But Therefore. Is she the right person to open loopholes? No, I don't Not think exactly. so. I don't think so. So, yeah. And I also felt like the judge takes any chance to go against the defense in favor of the witness. It's like he waits for such moments. Luckily, this time, uh, Ramos had someone who's, the question who's, to the witness. Who's very, very, very uh, emotionally intelligent. Because all these shades that were thrown stop asking questions that uh, are, are not on the statement even when you find that they are on the statement the judge does not come back and apologize for saying that mm -mm. it's like business as usual oh yeah. my lord we have agreed i'm going to mm. mr vaselin have have is the one who started mm, this thing mm. oh my lord we have agreed no and apology. the judge was that's the thing when the judge when it comes with uh, mr vaselin the judge takes it like <laughs> It doesn't even need to have They'll a statement in front of They'll even if hey. they have to adjourn just because he said it. Hey. But then when he comes back and it's proven otherwise, he there's no apology, no nothing. He no. would even attack Sorry people. for wasting your time. Hey, he would even attack people. Hi, why do you ask questions that are don't, don't exist on the, on the statement? Mr. Balo is saying that. Okay, we find that it's there. The judge comes back. Okay. Let us continue. Oh, my Lord, I think we have communicated. Uh, everything is fine now. Um, uh, okay, let us continue. What about, I'm sorry, I, 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 uh, Mr. Balu, you must stop this thing of, of, of making people but feel who? like that. You know? How? What, what about that? But who? Why is it always right when Balu is, is saying it? You don't even check the statement yourself. You're like, Balu said it is correct. It's correct as long as Balu said it. Ah, I see. Ramosipele then asked, what was the bleeding like when you lifted his T-shirt? And then Twala said, I saw the blood, but not that there was a heavy flow. Ramosipele then asked, who, are we, who was with him at the time when he was laying there? Then Twala said, he can't remember. Hmm, he can't remember. Mm. Ramosipele then said, what happened then? Twala said, I asked for a towel, and then I pressed his wound with it. Ramosipele said, and then Twala said, he went out. We went out, and then someone said, he is still alive, and that's when we picked him up. He won't say that he was the only one who was putting pressure on the wound, but he, he put it. Uh, he won't say he was the only one because that would be taking credit on his own, but uh, he said, I'm the one who placed it. Ramosipile then said, after putting pressure on the wound, what did you do next? And then Twala said, after some time we went out, I remember there was someone who said we must call an ambulance or would the police, since he was alive, it was said that we should rush him to the hospital and that is when we carried him. Ramosipile mm. then asked, at that stage, when you are pressing that towel on the wound, what was the victim's condition his breathing then twala said he was gasping did he utter any words at that stage and then twala said there's nothing that he said he looked like he wanted to say something but he was unable to hence i am saying he was gasping then uh, Ramasipili said, what was the final decision regarding the treatment? Then Twala said, we took him and rushed him to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, was he still gasping for air? Then uh, Twala said, yes, he was still gasping. And then there was a long adjournment for lunch. And then after coming back from lunch, Ramasipele asked Twala, to Twala, we spoke about the incident when you ran to the neighbors and meet, met the son of the owner of the house. That witness will testify before the shooting. He heard shouting and a commotion from the Kumalo household. From his bedroom, he heard a commotion and shouting coming from the Kumalo residence. Objection, my lord. Uh, I don't think that is on a, on a statement here. I have it right here in front of me. That's where. 
Musipilo said, he said when he peeped, he saw someone in the Kumbalo kitchen with a white T-shirt. And he said his father went out to check. At their kitchen door, it's then that they heard a gunshot go off and immediately saw a man jump into their yard. That same person that jumped into their yard told them that there was a problem in the Kumalo household, that they were being attacked and that the deceased was shot. Then Twala said, why would I say to them Senzo was shot if I was not in the house at the time? The gunshot went off. Then Ramusipili said, that witness will be called to clarify that. The judge asked him Togo to clarify and he spoke with a rather interesting accent. <laughs> he sounded like he was audible. In fact, at that point, I felt like, why does he need an interpreter? Because this man can clearly communicate in English. Why is he wasting our time with an interpreter? It's for other people, other the defendant. Okay, we'll say, we'll say that. So Ramusipile said he will also testify he was carrying a stick or rod and wanted to jump into the Kumalo yard, but was warned by his father not to do so as there was an ongoing shooting. This is what the statement that Ramusipile said. And he continued reading the statement that the circumstances of what happened in that house are known by occupants in the house. Then Twala said, yes, those who were outside will be the ones to come and testify. Then Ramusipile said, you and those in the house fabricated and fashioned the tale of intruders entering the house and the botched robbery story. Then Twala said, that question you are telling me, is that a question are you, or you are telling me? I don't know I, what I have, have I fabricated. <laughs> I told you what happened. So when would we have fabricated? Then Ramusipile said, the deceased Robert Senzo Meiwa is not here to tell his side of the story as to what transpired that night. Then Twala said, I hear you. Advocate George Baloi for the state rises and says, Ramusipile saying that the neighbor's son's statement indicates that he had a gunshot go, he had a gunshot go off is not in that statement. The judge asked Ramusipile that is that it is better to have a statement before he says what he's what is in the statement. So they adjourned for five minutes as Ramosipele looked for that statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they came back, found out that Advocate Baloy said they had sorted the issue. So it seems like Ramosipele did not lie. It was in the statement. And then they brushed over it like nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> Ramu Sibele referred to a statement in which Mtobo Zisi said Longwe Twala jumped, into the, jumped onto the intruder and grabbed the gun. Mm. Ha, he grabbed the gun. Exactly. Twala then said, I've already corrected that statement. Ramu Sibele said the object held, the object Where held by the... Where did you correct the statement? It would be very interesting to see when it was corrected, eh? Ne? Yeah. Pull, pull that. Pull Wh that when did you correct it, uh, Mr. Twala? Um, was when? it uh, the same day or a oh. couple of days or years? Or years. Or it's something of recent? It would be interesting to find that one out, yes. Then Rabu Sipili said, the object held by the second intruder as a knife or a sharp object on the statement i then went on the statement it read i then went to the second suspect who was having a knife in his hand so chala said it was not corrected now now i am saying a knife or a sharp object so on the statement he was clear and concise that it's a knife right and then nine years later he's saying it's a knife or a sharp a sharp object mm. Okay, so Ra Twala said, yes, I hear you. Ramosipile then said, you spoke about an incident at the hospital. You say there was no fight between Mandisa and Kelly. Then Twala said, there was no fight specifically between the two, Mandisa and Kelly. It didn't involve Mandisa, but Kelly. Mm. Tumelo Madlala has testified that he was there when the fight happened, and the fight was between Kelly Kumalo and Mandisa. Mm. After the fight, there was a piece of braided hair that laid on the floor. Then Tala said, I think Tumelo on his side, maybe he says Mandisa. It's because that happened after Mandisa arrived and the people she came with. But I was close to Mandisa and Blom. It's not uh, Mandisa who fought with or attacked Kelly Kumalo. Who attacked Kelly Kumalo? Since you know Mandisa's friend who uh, 
Would you like to correct that for Dumelo? Mm. Who did this? You said you were the one who was next to. Mm. And he who did? Off. You see, the problem is that. Let me tell so you. So everything, correct? Let me tell you what this guy is not realizing. One, if there was anything of some sort or some protection, as they keep on putting the questions like that or even coming up with statements like that, if this guy was really not telling the truth 100%, what looks like is we have five people. Mm -hmm. The story is not complete. As much as, as much as we are persecu persecuting on this thing, yes. these five people, we are still expecting the mastermind if these five people go down. Yes. And then the mastermind, there they, will be many people of interest. Yes. It is not going to be excluding Mandis. Yes. As much as he's trying to exclude Mandis between trying to make That's Mandisa, what he doesn't understand. What he doesn't understand is that this mastermind might Theory. not exclude Mandisa because uh, why are we saying this is because when you listen to Zandi, yes, Zandi's interview, yes, why is Mandisa not, not being questioned? questioned? Where was Mandisa in the time of shooting? Mandisa was Roy at Roy according to the statements that have been given. Mandisa was at Roy Mahamuso's uh, uh, party. Mm -hmm. Why would Mandisa be a person of interest? Because he is a person who was a fiance. And maybe not happy about Senzo cheating on 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 her, mm. something like that. Mm. And then he wanted to get revenge. Mm. That's a story that perhaps, if they were, it was possible to paint. As I said, if it was me, since I've seen the loophole of this man now and then trying to protect Mandisa yes. and remove Mandisa and all these bad things that might actually taint Mandisa's name. Seemingly, this man is willing to protect Mandis. Mm. And uh, I'm not sure if they are still friends, but I saw the picture in, in Instagram of Mandis. They, they, they're still there. Mm. So I would assume they are still friends. Okay. So since he's willing to protect Mandis, if mm. you question along the lines of putting Mandis in a bad way, even though we are not saying it's not, it's Mandisa is bad. Mm. Uh, we're not I don't, saying that. I don't even believe we that Mandis will be bad. If have discovered just a to, weakness. Just to maybe find a way of, of this man speaking, I would put questions that would make Mandisa look a bit bad. Because he's very protective of Mandisa, but does he understand that supporting this theory that he he is a witness to? Masterman can be anyone. Can be anyone, including the friend, her friend, his as, childhood as, as friend. As that thing has been planted using news, hey, uh, why don't we look at Mandis? Mm, people are doing and, and interviews. And there were people, in fact, there were people... Pointing in that direction. Yeah, there were people who were now even followers who were blindly yes. taking it and saying, yeah, Mandisa, Mandisa was Mandisa, there. Mandisa also must be a person but of interest. But there's a glitch because the house was cleaned. That's where the glitch That's is. That's where the glitch is. Yeah, bo. So, yeah, he continued reading from the statement. Uh, he said, the statement said, I can be able to identify the suspect with dreadlocks who had a firearm. I cannot identify the second one. Then Twala said, yes, that's my statement. This statement was made immediately on the 27th after the incident occurred, but it was commissioned on the 28th in Pretoria. So Twala said, yes, the only identifier to the police was the dreadlocks. There were no physical or facial features. Then Twala said, I only spoke about dreadlocks, but that does not mean that I never identified the facial features of that person. As I, I taken to the identity kit, I did mention the features there. Then Ramosipele said, saying accused number one was arrested in this place, in his place of residence in Tembisa on the 29th of May 2020. He was taken to some government building in Tembisa and he was badly brutalized, assaulted, tortured with a plastic bag over his head with a police pepper spray and the bag held tightly against him, against his neck so that he cannot breathe. Then Twala said, I know exactly what he went through. He was a suspect and I was a witness. Mm. The shade, honey, the shade. <laughs> yes, yes. The man has shade for days and you won't notice if you don't. But, oh, my dog. but what is interesting about this is that as much as 
these people always say i mean that's what uh, ramsipedi said mm-hmm. as we always put these things uh, and then they are brushed off saying that there is no evidence or there's no truth i'm happy i'm clapping for you for saying that mm. for putting it here in this court so that when we say it it makes sense mm. because remember there's Joyce Butelez here who according to me has been painted as this ruthless person who mm. did Ooh. this thing to Mtogo and we even had to explain uh how Joyce is regarded in terms of his investigation way she investigate using psychology that's that's a definition that's what they use it even the description on the, uh, in, 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 when you look at the profile yes. that's how Joyce is Very taking someone to the grave of senzo i said i would agree with that that is a mind game uh, making someone look at the pictures of their friends and the kids that's a mind game i would agree to that but physical I said I don't think Joyce was capable of that. That's my that's my that's my my point of departure in this in this thing. I don't think so. I, And I, then if this thing is still happening Emil the question if it happened with the the the, the accused the question is who's then doing it because Joyce was I think Joyce left this case at 2015 yes. according to what we are hearing on the news. Yes. Then who is continuing with this way of getting the truth out of people whoever is in charge of this case that's currently before the court those are the things that we we must look at well he continued ramosi pile saying that their families not knowing where they were from may until october when they appeared for the first time in court in october 2022 how do you feel about that Then Tala said I don't know how I feel because the pain he felt is the pain he felt just like I felt the pain I felt. I don't know how another person feels as I was abused. Mm. In the end I won't speak for him. He will speak for himself just like I'm speaking for myself. So what we can establish from this is that Mtogo has no compassion for them but he expects the whole country to have compassion for him mm-hmm. while they don't want to tell us who killed Senzo. Mm. 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 So Ramosipili said accused number one will testify that he was over a number of days uh, shattered and hidden from the police station especially Valeria Pretoria North uh, Tembisa while he was beaten until a confession and pointed out was extracted from him so only once he had made those confessions and the pointings as a sign of appeasement they took him to his family whom he had not seen since 29th of May 2020 they drove him to KwaZulu Natal to see his family weeks after he was arrested so accused number one will deny that he was involved in the murder or in the plot to kill the deceased Twala wanted clarity on whether he was taken to uh, wherever he was taken to beaten up and he admitted to something he didn't do then uh, Ramosipele confirmed and said yes and he said unlike you who was beaten one night for them it was over a period of time he does not know a uh, nomzamo section house number uh, for Slorus where the incident took place and Ramosipele said accused number two was arrested on the 16th of June 2020 at his place of work in Rustenburg He also assaulted and brutalized until he signed a confession. Now he will state that he is familiar with accused number one because they come from the same is Godi slash village. He doesn't know accused three to five that he met them for the first time in on this case. He denies that on the day the deceased was killed on the 26th he was not in Gauteng and he was in KZN preparing two rituals. They had a deceased child that they were preparing a ritual for and he was preparing for Lobola for the wife. They were taking money to Lobola the wife. He has stated that police officers Mabena and Mohali took him to a branch of Capitec 
to confirm that he indeed went to a branch uh, to increase his limit on the 27th. The statement was drawn in Johannesburg, but the limit was increased in Kwanongoma. Therefore, he will deny that he was involved in the killing of the deceased and he is not involved. The police that were escorting him took that document away from him. He left on the 25th of October 2014 for Nongoma. The limit was done on the 27th. Ramosipili stated that they are trying to have the state assist them with uh, subpoenaing those documents because he does not remember the cell phone number or the Capitec account number he was using at the time. Advocate Baloy says that they are more than willing to assist. They haven't been approached. Should they be approached, they will be glad to assist. Now, Mr. Anonymous, don't tell me that the state is the only party that can pull records from the bank or any other institution. Is that the case? If or or do they issue the, the document to subpoena? The, the, yeah, that then if it becomes a part of the evidence in a sense. Then so they can only subpoena. call for it in the court? Yes, the court must, must give that leeway. So advocate Charles Mnisi for Accused 3 will begin to cross-examine Mtogozi Sitwala tomorrow and there was an adjournment. So, yeah. Right. So if you still want to call, we've got nothing further to say. No. You can call. I see that there's someone who's been calling. calling you can call calling. now. Uh, you can call now. Um, let me push the buttons. Uh, yeah. Now the lines... Are uh, open. open. You can dial. You can call. If Finally. you want to call, you <laughs> I know call. today it took long, but it I did. didn't want to take shortcuts, you know, and end up, you know, jumping important stuff. And then for those who d- were not able to watch, they don't really understand what we're talking about, what's going on. Zanzi Reality, hello. Hey, Mr. Anonymous, how are you? And uh, Emily. Hi. hi sir. I'm good. I'm good, man. Uh, yo, yeah, I, it's my first time in Google Live, mm. and I'm a bit, yo, two days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, wait, is this Mr. Anonymous? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I wrote, hey, I've got a page that I wrote here. Mm. Please stop me if I'm, I'm taking long. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me start. It's easy. Yes. Anyway, that's talking. Yes, in okay. Pretoria. I'm right, the first, the first one, Mr. Anonymous. Uh, I heard your voice somewhere on TV, but I'll leave it there. Let's let's leave you anonymous. <laughs> and then number two. Okay, now let leave that. Let me go. Uh, police, ne? Police, they do torture people. We we not say about force a band to baba accept a majala that they don't know. Yes. Mm. And. And then, who oh, advocate, advocate, I'm just going to jump through these points I just made as, as you were talking. Yes. Yeah. Advocate Baloy, he, he keeps uh, making these objections. Né? Yes. So, so that because he knows that the judge is always going to be on his side. And I don't know, maybe he wants to get a chance so that Akonuf Manikaya Shaloba are are you coach up and back? Because every time they are gen, I think he does get an opportunity to talk to them. Okay. They, then the move, uh, um, Toko. Toko, he doesn't sound like someone who's trying to help the court anymore. Sounds as if he's fighting for his life. I don't know why. Mm. Because even Tumelo had the same uh, uh, sort of... So he, he, he approached Yaki was also the same. It sounds as if there's something else that they know, hence they fight. The reason why I'm saying that both mm. of them, during evidence, evidence in chief, mm. they cooperate so well. Mm-hmm. But they remember everything. But the moment it's cross-examination, yes. they change. Mm. Then, then you get to the bank story. Yeah, when it's cross-examination, they forget. Then the bank story, uh, I'm not going to say that the fact that that guy left for Kwanongoma on the 26th and on the 27th he was at the bank so what happened to he to him during that day there is a possibility that could have gone to Kwanongoma on the 26th came and did this job on the mm-hmm. 20, on the 26th mm-hmm. and then on the 20, on the 27th be again at Kwanongoma to be at the bank Mm. There is a huge possibility. Yeah. Actually, if I was a killer, I would do that too. Mm. I would make sure that I've got an alibi somewhere else. Mm. 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 Then, 
Then let me just play a bit with the with the with, with what I see in these cases. I've got two scenarios. Yeah. Like I said, we'll stop if I take long. Okay. All right. The first one is that it could be that uh, there were people who arrived at that house mm. in the way in two thousand. There is a possibility, mm-hmm. but it could be that maybe one of them, maybe let's say. I'm not saying this is what happened. I mm. don't want it to sound as if I'm saying this in Disney mm-hmm. It could be that Ulong knew what those people were there for, mm. which would make sense if he runs out mm. and they leave him. Mm. Mm-hmm. The, the second scenario that I have is that it could be that one of the people who 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 was in the house could have shot Senzo. Mm. And in Togo, indeed, maybe he did go to the neighbors and said what he said. Mm. But now, the story of running after him as a second intruder, if he left before long way mm. in the house, it could be that a cover so that they say there was someone that ran after him or mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. But this is, this is just me. This is things that were just running on my mind as, as 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 I was listening to the case, watching the case and also watching your show. Thank you. And thank you very much for, for the opportunity to take part. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Cool. Yeah. Right. Interesting point. That's an interesting point. Okay. Uh, yes, you can keep them coming. The calls, not disturbing anything. I'm just yeah. going to let the calls do the thing if you guys have them. There we go. Mzansi Reality. Hello. Like I said, don't stop if I take long. Uh, until you fix the background, please. The background no. noise? Yes, can you reduce the background noise? It's addressed. Okay, cool. You can shoot then. Yeah, let me shoot. Yes. Man, I'm shooting from over the border from my media window. Yes, yes, Hi. welcome. Um, Mr. Anonymous, what I observed, uh, it's 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 more like in a football match where you where it seems easier when you're outside. Yeah. But um, I just thought, uh, um, Mr. Sivovo, uh, Advocate Sivovo would have tackled or kept more pressure surrounding the scuffle. And then, a, and then a, a gun went short. Mm. I mean, a, a shot went off. Yeah. Mm. But that guy is not really telling you that the, who had the gun by then. Because if you then had, had a, a, an intruder by ransom mm. surrounded by people assaulting him, mm-hmm. what if somebody might have heard that, um, that, uh, that uh, uh, taking of that gun or maybe uh, it, I, I don't know how to put it, but some, uh, what if, because he's not really telling you that he saw that person shooting mm. the deceased. Mm. Mm. He's, not, he's not surrounding the, I, I went and shot, uh, yeah, it must be him because he's the one who came with the, with the gun. But you say it must, uh, uh, there was a scuffle. In that scuffle, what if somebody else among the people who are busy assaulting him took the, the gun off and then maybe he was shot uh, uh, mistakenly or something? There is a cooking up of something. That's why he's not getting really... If 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 you are a, a, a true witness, you will be confident to say, I saw this, I did not... You will not run around and so forth. Mm, 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 mm. The other thing is also that when they took the deceased out... Mm-hmm. Into that car, yeah. into into the six car. Yeah, he was supposed to tackle uh, also um, uh, the witness that where where was the was I mean was the red polo still there? Because yeah. he said he he said when he ran out into the neighbor's house, See? that yes. car was there. Yes, all the car was there. Mm. But that would have not taken long because he, he said he didn't take, he didn't take long in in the into the neighbor's house. Yeah. So during that, that uh, say 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something, who came and removed that car there and where were they? Mm, 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 mm. That would be interesting. Uh, yeah, but let's hope uh, Mr. Charles Munisi, we are looking forward to his testimony tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. 
Definitely. Let us wait for that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Cool. Right. Let's take another one, Amy. Right. Yes, another one. Okay. Right. Uh, see, in South Africa, this is Nkosentle Malinga. In South Africa, getting justice is very expensive. There's a high possibility that these five suspects might be found guilty, but not because they are guilty, but because they are just nobodies. Mm. Story of our life. <laughs> Days of our life. It's, it's like that. Let's so remind you to like and subscribe. Zanzi Reality, Hello. Uh, hello, Mzansi Reality. Hello. Hello. How are you? We are good, and you? Yeah, uh, very good. Right. Uh, uh, what I what I observed today mm-hmm. uh, was uh, the defense lawyer mm-hmm. or the defense counselor mm-hmm. uh, shifting the strategy from the previous time. Mm. From a, a last time, it was a constructive uh, examination. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Today it was more destructive. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, as I mentioned last time, that he left so much aspect hanging. Mm. He did not go back to those aspects. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and those aspects were supposed to assist him mm. uh, to discredit. Uh, Mr. Twala uh, mm-hmm. as a liar. Yeah. But he did not capitalize on, on that. Remember mm. when you do constructive uh, cross-examination, mm. you are actually in control of the the, the witness. Mm-hmm. You want them to answer yes, no questions. Yes. Then you hit them mm-hmm. in the end. Mm. You, you, you actually have a, 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 a aim yeah. That okay, I want to establish this from from this witness. Mm. So I build up the you lay a foundation by asking yes no questions. Then in the end, you conclude from what you have asked. Mm. Then you will have established whether the witness is lying or not lying. Mm. Mm. So it was very difficult for uh, Mr. Musipil. Yes, he did a, a very good job in, on destructive, but if he had establish the lying first mm. well, for example with the cell phone i'll give you an example with the cell phone mm. uh, mr twala testified that uh, his cell phone was dead when he arrived at the house mm. he saw a charger mm-hmm. he plugged into the charger mm-hmm. kelly came and removed from the charger mm-hmm. so there was no point where the phone was charged again mm-hmm. However, the phone was used after the commission of of, of this crime mm. to call woman Lisa and others. Mm. How did he use the cell phone which was dead on arrival? I think he said that he asked the nurses at the hospital yeah, to he, charge he the reception said, yeah, for yeah, him. There is an answer for that. Yeah, I remember he said he asked the nurse uh, to help him charge. So after? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, yeah. So, well, in, in, in destructive, uh, he was, uh, Mr. Musipil was very good. Mm. Uh, however, he left some point as well. But, well, he was so good. I think uh, other lawyers, uh, defense counselors will mm. uh, uh, build up from where he left. Yes. yes. Yeah, I, I, I just hope so. But, uh, yes, he was very good in uh, building up, uh, laying a foundation mm. uh, with uh, in terms of uh, destructive uh, a cross examination. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, that's that's uh, my view to be. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Your thank view you, is always you. appreciated over here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, let's see the next person. One chance. One chance before you close. This has been long. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm this enjoying it a little bit too much. Yeah. Let us uh, wait for one person. And okay, then... one more caller. Please call. Please call us and let us know what you thought about today's proceedings. What's your opinion? It's a good thing What's that we, we, we are able to actually exclude some of the questions here. Because it's a good question also that I wanted to look at. But hello, Mzansi Reality. Hello. Hello, Zanzi Reality. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Yes, good evening. 
Good evening. Good evening. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. And how are you? We are good. Good morning, by the way. Good morning. <laughs> Yes, good morning. Yes, yes. Is that Mzansa reality? It yes. is Mzansa reality. Oh, but uh, someone else is talking? Yes, we we with Emily and uh, Mr. Anonymous. My name is Ilana. I'm calling you from London. Oh, hi. How are you? Yes, hello. Good, good. My name is Ilana. I'm calling you from London. I've been watching and uh, I've been following your story. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just I'm so, just shoot. Uh, I'm so grateful to get in touch with you. Yes. <laughs> just shoot. Okay. For, forget about uh, the voices. I just, okay. Mm. I just want to say a few words. Mm. This is a setup. That mm. is my own op- my own opinion. Mm-hmm. There is no case that someone can come in to steal or to, to commit a robbery with a gun and a knife, two of them. And all of a sudden, there is only one person who is injured. Mm. 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 That, is, that is something very uh, unique. Yeah, because uh, this this uh, uh, the way I can see it, it is just a formulated story, mm. and the way I can see it, it will continue forever because there are no, none of these five people who have done anything here. Mm. The people who know the whole thing and the gist of the story are the ones who are in the house. Mm. You can't come out of the house, you walk as if there is no robbery in front of you as if this is your brother or your uncle, you just pass over and he doesn't catch you or he doesn't hold you nothing. Mm. And you have got your phone in your pocket, which you took in front of him. Yes. This is not right. Yeah, it's not. On my own, uh, on my own uh, assessment, I think South Africa has to, to look at these things correctly. You cannot go and collect people who are poor because they cannot fight for themselves and mm. leave the perpetrators and they are walking on the road. Mm. Thank you very much in reality. It's me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Short and sweet. Uh, please just subscribe, guys. Let us push these numbers. We are almost into 20,000 subscribers. We are just missing about 300 subscribers. Hopefully, this 385 that I see here makes that. If you are not subscribed, if you are not subscribed, subscribe. please subscribe. <laughs> As we wait, one more caller. I saw someone. I don't want to leave anyone out. As you do that, press the like button and do everything that you need to do. Uh, we are here. We are here for you. Let's hear Emily coming once. Will be twice, and obviously there's gonna be that time where I, I cut ties. Um, yeah. See here, uh, Tobaga D. Thank you for being with us. Nentanta Bengu. Just to call a few people that I've seen here that have been active on the chat. On the chat, and uh, we have Innocentia, and then we have uh, Sizwe Mkaga. We have uh, Aunt, our moderator, C.K. Moyo. And C.K. Uh, Moyo. And then uh, we have uh, Fanny M- Angensa Quebec because I'm going to butcher that name. That's the name I know. Nkosentle, uh, Malinga. And uh, yeah, it's it's been... And again, special thank you to Dimakato Lamini. Uh, thank you. This is our member. Hi, Dimakato. And uh, the contribution. Oh, God, who did it. But thank you very much. Thank for you the for the donation as well. We, we highly appreciate We appreciate it. them. Yeah, thank I think uh, it's Mzi Mnyazi. Uh, thank you very much, guys. And I think from my side, unless I miss you, it's a bye. Yeah, there's a tomorrow. <laughs>